It is kind of a crazy premise for yeah. a movie. These ultimate helicopter parents trying to set their young son up with you. Yeah, the premise made us laugh multiple times a day. Hi, mind if I touch your wiener? What? Your dog. Jennifer Lawrence, the Academy Award winner, who for years made headlines for her hilarious interviews. And I got my hair and makeup done. And then I came to the Oscars. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did a shot before I... <laughs> sorry. Now bringing her comedic chops to the big screen in no hard feelings. How about I give you a ride home? Um, this isn't the way to my house. It's a shortcut. You're my hostage. What you got down there? Something for me? <laughs> Why? You tried kidnapping me! You're 19, grow up! It definitely is a, a jab at the helicopter parents. They're trying to do what they think is gonna make their son happy and bring him out of his shell. Lawrence plays 32-year-old Maddie, a rideshare driver with money problems, who answers an unexpected Craigslist ad in order to save her family home. Need a car for college, date our 19-year-old son this summer. We're looking for an attractive, kind, and intelligent woman, early to mid-20s. In exchange, we'll give you a Buick Regal, clean, rust-free, 40K miles. Date is in quotes. You're actually considering this. I've had a one-night stand before and gotten zero Buick Regals for it. Now, is it true it's based on an actual Craigslist ad? Yeah. That sounds crazy. Yeah, about four years ago, the director's a good friend of mine. We've been friends for a long time, and we were getting dinner, and he showed me the Craigslist ad, and I just thought it was hilarious. I in no way thought I was going to like be in the movie or that there was no movie. It was just the ad, and we laughed about it. And then four years later, he sent me the script. He wrote it for you? Yes. What made you want to do a big comedy? I wasn't ready to work. I wasn't planning on working for a long time. You just and had a baby. I had just had a baby. So I definitely wasn't planning on working. And I just, I read the script and it was just too funny. It was the funniest thing I had ever read. Lawrence's return to the silver screen is a homecoming. More than a decade after her breakthrough role in the 2010 drama Winter's Bone catapulted her into the spotlight. You know where he's at? I wouldn't tell him nothing if I did. She quickly became one of the most sought-after actresses in Hollywood, landing the coveted role of Katniss Everdeen in the Hunger Games franchise. Crib! No, no, volunteer! I volunteer as tribute! After mastering archery for the role, she gave Diane Sawyer a lesson. Your form is just horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I showed Diane how to shoot archery today. <laughs> and she, let's just say she nailed it. In 2013, Lawrence took home an Oscar for Best Actress in Silver Linings Playbook. Thank you. This is nuts. A few years later, she became the youngest actress to garner four Oscar nominations at just 25 years old, all before launching her own production company in 2018. Tell me about your producing life now. It's good. It's busy, but focused and streamlined. I don't take on anything that I can't personally read every draft of and give notes on. And it's a lot of work. Hard work on a small amount of things. But it must be fun to use a different muscle. Yeah, yeah, it is. The actress is a producer of No Hard Feelings. Have a drink together. He'll have a Long Island iced tea. This is the worst iced tea I've ever had. And what a find your co-star is, Andrew Barthel. Unbelievable. We just wouldn't have made the movie if we couldn't find the right Percy. And we auditioned some great actors, and it was just immediate. We're leaving. Okay, let's let me stay just get no, just stay back. I okay, said just let go of stay her. Stay back. Get out of here. Come on. Don't let's touch me. Well, he has this mix of he's a little bit of a nerd. He's obviously super smart, but also he's kind of a cool kid. Oh, yeah. No, he's I was really worried that my 20 year old co-star was going to annoy me before <laughs> the movie started. I was like, I'm going to hang out with a 20 year old all day. And within minutes, I it was he's so smart and cool and dialed. And he put off going to Harvard to do this movie. Very Percy like oh, it's very much like Percy. Um, what do you want people to take away from this movie? I just want them to laugh. I just want everybody to laugh and have a good time. But for the producer and actress, the role of a lifetime has always been away from the bright lights of Hollywood. And you have a full life right now. You know, I was, I was looking back, and you did an interview with uh, Barbara Walters 10 years ago. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Not in L.A., in a house, on a big property, and maybe starting a family. Everything's calm. Everything's calm. I have calm. a minivan. You started a family. <laughs> I have a Volvo. Close. But it's not a minivan, yeah. 
Less than 10 years later, Lawrence now lives out that dream role, raising her son, Cy, with her husband, art dealer Cook Maroney. They married in 2019. And what do you hope you're going to be doing next? There is no next. There's just once you start your family, it's just it's the greatest thing in the world. I'm just going to try to take in every second and be present and enjoy it. You think you're going to be a helicopter mom? Probably, and I'll have <laughs> to work on it. Our thanks to George. No Hard Feelings hits theaters on June 23rd. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.